Hi guys, it's your girl, lovely Pamela, and I'm back with a video. I'm doing a video on my Christmas gift that I got. So, yeah. Um, as you guys see, I told you guys probably the end of January, the beginning of um, February, I would be wearing my own hair. So, I'm doing a deep condition. Um, I've already colored it back jet black with Beijing. Um, I'm going to do a trim and it's going to be a box. So... I'll be doing that for maybe about two months of wearing my own hair. So stay tuned for the different styles that I come up with wearing my own hair. Uh, right now it's in the conditioning stage. So I decided to do this haul because I really, guys, need to put this stuff up. Like um, every time I watch badass platinum videos, Joe Day, I am SPG, um, Pure Eye Pure Candy. Um, I've got like six new subs, sub, sub, um, I've subscribed to, and I want them to subscribe back. Um, so you can check out my outfits. Today is Outfit Saturday. Um, so, you know, just a lot of the wonderful ladies that I watch here on YouTube. Um, I'd like to see from you guys this year more hauls of the drugstore cosmetics because there's, um, I think Makeup Diva Queen has it, or is it Makeup Diva? Says that the drugstore is putting the um, higher end makeup to shame. So I'd like to see some more um, videos with the more of the palettes from the drugstores, makeup, um, different things like that. Um, entire outfits. Uh, I'm loving. Uh, you guys know I've always loved the wigs because I'm a wig wearer myself. Um, and different hair, and making wigs and stuff. So those are just some of the things that I would like to see. But on to this haul before it gets too long. All right, first I went to TJ Maxx and I got the Pop, um, Pop Your Natural Beauty. It's a, it's a set. Usually, if you buy it anywhere, sixteen dollars. They have it for seven ninety nine. This palette it has Blush Crush, Bright Your Life Eyeshadow, and Pouty Pop Crayon, and they're actually really beautiful. It tells you how to um, put it on. It has Pop Your Skills here. Tells you what the ingredients are, what you're getting in it, and it is a really beautiful package. Um, but you guys know I'm a collector of makeup, but I'm also a wearer of makeup. So we're going to make this quick and brief. This is what it looks like. You can actually keep this in your purse for everyday looks. You're in your car, make your makeup. Put your makeup on. This color here is Blush Crush Peach Sheen. And I love peach sheen because I'm a tanner sister. So that is the color. It is really wonderful. Look at that pigmentation. And if you guys think it don't show up, you see I'm rubbing it out. Look. That is a beautiful brush blush. That is it. Peach sheen. Um, the next thing is the eyeshadow trio. Comes with the little regular little brush. Um Beautiful color. Bright your light eyeshadow. It's called Rich Cocoa is the name of the trio. Very pigmented. Next thing in that is the... This lip color is Peach Promise. It actually gives names to the colors. This is Peach Promise. I know you guys are wondering, did I lose my mind? No. I have a sensitivity with my gums. And just about every other day, I have to take Benadryl for it. I guess as I got older, certain stuff that I eat, it irritates the hell out of my gums. So I had to stop talking. I apologize for the pause. Um, 
the next color, I, um, all of the other things I'm going to show you are from Walgreens and Big Lots, as um, far as colors, palettes, trios. Um, oh, no, one more thing from TJ Maxx. This is called Bake Essentials Max Studios. This one's called Birthday Soup. This is Birthday Soup. That pink is to die for. $3.99. You can create some hell of a looks with this palette. Birthday suit, Max Studios. I like the packaging. The packaging is really nice. That, that came from TJ Maxx. Next thing I picked up was from Walgreens, my favorite drugstore makeup place to get makeup from. I pick up some of the Fergie um, matte Wet n Wild Velt Matte Crayons. Um, you guys know I'm a pink girl. I like purples, but I love pinks. This is pink candy because, like I said, I have like tan to my skin. So that's pink candy right there. Next matte color. I love the way the packaging is, the purple and how it's soft and it looks like it's matte. But the packaging, this color is, um, where's the color? They stand out. This is like a lilac purple. I'm going to put it right up on the pink candy. There you go. Stand out. Right there. Um... I think I bought more of those guys, so I'm just looking because I have a bunch of stuff on this table that I want to show you guys. I thought I picked up more. Oh, that was another lipstick I need to show you guys. But maybe I did. Maybe those are the only two I picked up. I'm not sure, so let me look and see. Hmm, I thought I picked up some a rose color. Oh, well. If not, let's move on. Um, The next two things I picked up the Infallible Matte. These two colors on me were absolutely gorgeous, okay? I wore this one all day. Everyone can ask me what color. It's like a, doesn't have a loud smell or a candy smell. That is the color of it. Let me swatch it here for you. That is a gorgeous color. The applicators are perfect. I haven't worn this one yet. This is, um, what is this one called, okay? This one is called Tantalizing Tangerine. This one is called Blushing Ambition. Blushing Ambition. I loved it at first sight. I'm going to put it right next to Tantalizing Tangerine and I'll tell you why. That is why. Isn't that just gorgeous? And I like you get jet. You get enough the first time you put them on. And the packaging is once again ergodynamic for your hands. So it is awesome they won't be flipping and flipping out your hand and you're breaking your packaging and everything else next thing i picked up from walgreens was and i went to two different walgreens um there's a walgreens and lighthouse point if you live in south florida um and then there's a walgreens in coral springs florida that i go to i go to those two um mostly because they're more of a um lighthouse point is more of a higher end walgreens um, and the one in Coral Springs is a mid for the area that it's in. Um, this is Lilac Crush. Yeah, I know you guys like that. You purple lovers. Let me do Lilac Crush for you guys. That is, oh my goodness. It has like a candy smell. Um, next lip color I picked up was, I got Lilac Crush. 
I think I'm missing some things, so. Lilac Crush, I know I picked up. Um, those are, oh, okay. Some more lipsticks I picked up. I'm sorry, ladies, I'm sorry. Next thing I picked up was the Milani. Y'all already know I'm in love with the packaging. Catwalk Pink. Um, this is not part of their matte line. I think this is one they sent out. I don't know if you guys had a Catwalk Pink number 45. This is definitely not a matte. This is a cream sheen. So for whoever said that the entire new Milani line is um, matte, it is not. Some of them are matte. Some of them are cream sheen. But they all came out at the same time. So they put them all in the display. So this is number 45, Catwalk. This is not a matte. This is a cream sheen. You can also look at the formula and tell that it's a cream sheen. It's similar. It reminds me of the Revlon. If you look, see, I told you guys, cream sheen. Beautiful color, but it is not a matte. No. This is matte innocent. I think the ones that say they're matte do say they're matte on the bottom. Like it'll say matte innocence, matte purple. They are matte. They put some brand new cream sheens in there and some matte. So when you pick up um, the lipsticks to run out and go get them, pick them up and look on the bottom of them. They don't stay matte on the bottom of them. They're not matte. They're cream sheens. And actually, they are similar to the Revlon cream sheen formulas that Revlon has. And you guys know I'm a Revlon cream girl. So y'all know. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not a makeup guru, but when it comes to the drugstore lipstick, I pretty much can look at the formula and tell. As you can see, it's, it's even a different sheen. It is drying. See the difference on the sheen and the finishes. You can tell that one is matte. It looks dry as hell. Next thing I picked up was the Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. Um, I forgot it's a girl on my channel. She's an African-American girl. Long, beautiful hair. She does makeup hauls. Oh, my goodness. I can't pick her name. But, hey, honey, I watch her channel. Um, she said she picked this one up. And this is an old formula, but in new packaging. And they made it more blue-based than pink because it was out before. But it was... Um, it was more like a bright, bright pink. And I should have had to be able to open these, but I didn't. So give me a second, guys. Who you is? So where you from? I represent the... So just be careful when you guys take recommendations. Go check it out yourself instead of running out and spending money. Then you get half a moment you don't like it. Because if you don't like those cream sheens that are in that display because there are a couple you're going to take them back this is it but as you guys can see that has a real definite blue you can see the blue even with the light on it and this is the blue and i'll show you guys what i mean by blue oh yeah that's a blue that is definitely blue so yeah um so if you don't like a lipstick that's going to be more of a hint of blue which i think is cute um, you can get away with wearing a, cup, a little bit of blue to work if you work in a corporate setting without anyone saying anything to you. The next color is Nouveau Pink. This also was out in the other formula, but they re, um, cause I heard a couple of people say this color has been out. I am not sure, but I think they've been reformulated. Yes, they have. They are reformulated colors. These two, Nouveau Pink and this one. And they are really gorgeous colors. And the Nouveau Pink is now more of a... a, a, a this reminds me of not a L'Oreal, but a MAC pink that they have in their collection. I bought it and it was amplified and I didn't like it. So, and for 16, 16 was it? 16, 50 or 2 or something like that? When I you buy the MAC lipstick, I don't know what they went up to. Because I haven't bought one in a year. Uh, if you look at it, this is a better look for the Nouveau Pink than that Amplified color. If you look, that is Nouveau Pink. Very, 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 very pretty now. Um, this video is probably too long, so I'm going to come back. So stay tuned for the next video. Okay, guys?